Come in. Hey. Hey, Pastor. How you doing? How you doing, Miss Maddie? All right. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. good. Doing good. Have a sit down. Right. You look good. And yeah, your office look real good. Thank you, ma'am. All right. I'm just coming here just to see what we meet about. I'm just real curious about that, Pastor. I'm going to call you back. I got to go in this meet with Pastor Miss Maddie. Now listen, Miss Matter, we're meeting today because we've had several complaints about the kitchen committee. We had complaints about the missing desserts, several complaints about the portions of the food that you give out. We've had several complaints about the hostile attitudes of your workers. And there have been complaints about you only let certain people have carry out plates. So, Ms. Matter, I just want to know, what do you have to say regarding these accusations? Pastor, you know what? First of all, I'm, I'm a little bit emotional right now, but anyway, you you, you brought your boy here, mm -hmm. he here, let him talk. I, I, I mean, I'm really going to say I'm a lot for work. First of all, Pastor, thank you for calling this meeting. Um, she referred to me as your boy. Number one, she got to respect me for being grown. Number two, Pastor, this is a problem that the whole church is having. Every time we have some food, she's taking the desserts. She's taking the food. She's trying to threaten people back there. She even had pink Moscato back there, Pastor. I found it. Pink Moscato back there. Drink and some of it was gone. She had food for her auntie, food for her son, her daughter, food for her husband who never come to church, just a town drunk. And then she got a knife in this meeting. So you think it's in the belly? She ain't got in the belly since the last minute. She got a knife in here now. It's like she's trying to threaten me. I'm from Enzo, Pastor. I'm from the hood. You know, right across from Winter Enzo High, right across from the brickyard, Bob and Ben, baby. It don't scare me that she got no knife, but she's out of control. And we want her to be terminated or get off the kitchen committee because she, 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 she is a bad representation of this church. I mean, no, I, I can't help it. You feel infiltrated because I got a knife. Then my cake cut knife, Pastor. I take this everywhere I go. I don't care by him feeling infiltrated by that. My feeling hurt. Me and Frank Green stopped been working years and stopped getting you. Yo, son, I don't even know where you come from. You talking about healing and all that? I don't even know. But my feelings hurt right now, pal. Well, my feelings hurt too, Miss Maddie. And number one, you don't need no cake cut knife at no meeting because you ain't finna cut the meat. Number two, apparently ain't nothing gonna get done because Pastor ain't gonna do but sit here and listen and do nothing like he always do. And he ain't got no backbone to stand up to y'all. Y'all been doing this stuff and somebody gonna have to stand up. Anybody got no backbone to stand up y'all? I wish Pastor would say something, but I guess you paying your little time on your little disability check. So that's fine. So I'm telling you what, y'all just deal with it. I ain't gotta deal with this no more. Bye. You know what? You don't keep holding that. Tell everybody who your real dad is. Lori, wasn't no joke either. 